We came up with three essential tools for your painting business. Stick around for the third one. It's a shocker. Number one is a 14 inch roller cover and frame. Now, most guys, when they start out, they are nine inch, but if you upgrade to the 14 inch, you can cover about 50% more square footage and get things done that much faster. Well, Brandon, if you're going to a 14 inch cover, why wouldn't you just go to an 18 inch cover if you're worried about more coverage? That's a really good question. When you're starting out, you're not typically doing these massive areas. You're probably doing a bedroom here and there. 18 inch roller covers can get a little too bulky if you're painting a bathroom or something like that. And it makes it hard to get into corners. Exactly. As you can see by the frame behind me, you've got extra wings on that, which won't get you into the corner. A 14 inch frame still goes on that same style of frame. So you can roll tight into the corners and still cover a ton of area. Absolutely. Chris, what's number two? Number two, also behind me, an extension pole. If you've watched any of our other videos, which we hope you have, I always talk about an extension pole because it will get you off the wall. It will save your back. You can start with a two to four foot one. You can reach down, dip a bucket and roll up and roll down on a 14 inch frame. You're set. Oh man, those things are so wonderful. And like we've talked about before, if you can't quite afford an extension pole at this time, a lot of times a broom handle, not adjustable, but it still works. I tell you, it saves time. And more importantly, it really does save your back because let's face it, you want to be able to work the next day. All right, Brandon, what's the third one? The shocking third one is whiz rollers. Whiz rollers. Any particular nap or just the whiz roller? Well, I always try to use it to match whatever nap of the big roller that I use. So three eighths, half inch, three quarters, whatever you can get. They are so versatile. You can use them to cut in corners. Sometimes you can use them to cut in around trim or do touch-ups and you get that stipple and it blends in beautifully. It really does. And like you said, you can cut, you can roll, you can get small areas with it. These things, they come in a variety of naps. So you match your big roller nap. That's awesome. You can get these in a 10 pack. You can get these in a two pack. You can buy them individually. Sometimes they come with a free handle. Otherwise you, their handle is completely interchangeable. It's such a great tool. Absolutely. Now we'd love to hear from our ponderers what their essential painting tools are. So please leave a comment below. Thank you ponderers. We'll see you next time. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.